Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt. From Hamlet. Act One, Scene Two. Read for LibriVox.org by Ernst Patinama. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw and resolve itself into a dew, or that the everlasting had not fixed his cannon against self slaughter. O oh God, O oh God, a weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable seem to me all the uses of this world. Fie on't, oh fie, fie. Tis an unweeded garden that grows to seed. Things rank and gross in nature possess it merely. That it should come to this. But two months dead, they not so much, not two. So excellent a king that was to this Hyperion to a satyr, so loving to my mother that he might not beteem the winds of heaven visit her face too roughly. Heaven and earth must I remember. Why, she would hang on him as if increase of appetite had grown by what it fed on, and yet within a month, let me not think on't. Frailty, thy name is woman. A little month, or ere those shoes were old with which you followed my poor father's body, like now you'll be all tears. Why, she, even she, oh, heaven, a beast that once discourse of reason would have mourned longer, married with mine uncle, my father's brother, but no more like my father than I to Hercules. Within a month, ere yet the salt of most unrighteous tears had left a flushing of her gullet eyes she married o oh, most wicked speed to post with such dexterity to incestuous sheets it is not nor it cannot come to good but break my heart for i must hold my tongue end of monologue oh that this too too solid flesh would melt from Hamlet, Act One, Scene Two. This recording is in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Ernst Patinama.